Guys, the old way of picking up girls in the gym isn't working. Hey girl, you see that? Ugh. It's time to evolve. Have you ever seen how gymnasts pick up women? <sighs> Sup, girl? Ugh, why are all the guys here creeps? Don't worry, we interviewed her afterwards and she said it wasn't the gym equipment. She just said she wasn't interested in his body, personality, hair, smile, eyes, jokes. <laughs> this gym, really anything. Hey guys, Gluck here, and today we're covering what I call my Gymnastic Rings Buyer Guide. And in my opinion, there's not a better piece of equipment in this budget range that's gonna allow you to have the versatility that these are going to have. They are going to allow you to work your muscles in ways that any other piece of equipment really cannot compete with. Now, they are a complement, in my opinion, to other types of strength training uh, gear. So I would not give up barbell training or dumbbells or things like that. I think these work really well in that line. Because of the instability of these rings, since they're on the suspension system, you're gonna hit muscles in ways you cannot otherwise, at least at this price range. Because you're able to rotate them and manipulate your grip while using them, in my experience, they put less stress on your joints than other compound movements often do. They're also a lot of fun, they don't take up a lot of space, and they're pretty inexpensive. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the different sizes of rings and materials that they could be made out of. We'll cover all the different types of straps and systems for kind of leveling them out and the different buckle systems, and there are a few options there. We're also going to unbox these four types of rings. I know they're unboxed right now, but I kind of filmed out of order so you can see what they come like. And these are my top options for under $50. So let's get right into it. We all know how important size is. And here you're gonna get two options and that's in thickness, not diameter. You have 1.1 inch, 28 millimeters, and that's the fig spec which is gonna be your International Gymnastic Federation, essentially what Olympians use, or 1.25 inches, 32 millimeters, and that's what you'd find in most CrossFit boxes. Some people will say the smaller 1.1 is easier for people with smaller hands to grip, and others would say that the larger diameter would help you gain grip strength. Personally, I find whichever one you get used to, you'll probably be fine either way. There are three material choices when it comes to rings, and it doesn't take a whole lot of looking to figure out what I recommend, but we're gonna cover all three. The first we'll talk about is steel, and they are gonna be the heaviest, which can be a good or bad thing. When you have them swinging, and probably over time, you're gonna lose grip or something, one comes swinging back in your face, you don't want all that heaviness in your face, at least not in this circumstance. They're also a little harder to grip because of the surface of them, so they're gonna be a little rougher on your hands. And if your hands get sweaty, they're even harder to grip, unlike other options. But you can run them outside, and if you forget them for a night or two, it's probably not the end of the world, but realize they will rust over time. From there, you can go to plastic, which is your lightest option, but again, they can be a little tricky to grip, especially if your hands get sweaty. There are a couple of material choices. Number one would be polycarbonate, and number two would be ABS, and you both want them to be a little bit textured because of those grip issues. They're also your lightest option. They're essentially indestructible, and they basically last forever, even if you leave them outside. From there, I would look at wood rings. They're the most natural and your grip is going to be the best no matter the circumstance. Even if you sweat, it actually helps you a little bit. Even though you can't leave them outside because they will delaminate from the elements, if you take good care of them, they'll probably last you a decade. They're light, they have the best grip, and aesthetically, they just look and feel the best. Now, when you're looking for rings, try to get ones with a weight capacity around 600 pounds. Even though these ones right here are about 440, if you're a lighter person, you can, you can have a little bit of forgiveness there, but realize, I understand, you're probably thinking, I don't weigh 600 pounds or 440 pounds, but when you get these swings swinging or you drop down, you're putting a lot more stress on them. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's talk about straps real quick. When it comes to straps, you want them to be a good nylon material without any stretch to them. So you're not adding any more instability in the gear itself. Now you can get them unmarked like this, or you can often, depending on the company, get ones that have distance markings on them. This is nice because if you're mounting on an even surface, you just line the numbers up, it's much more quicker. Now, if you are on an 
uneven tree limb, for example, the markings are pretty much useless. We also have to talk about thickness and length. I think we know where this conversation is going. When it comes to thickness, you basically have 1.1 inch or 1.5 inch. I like the 1.5, I like them thicker. And that's because when you're doing things like dips, for example, they don't cut into your arms as much. And they also, in my experience, they're a little bit more stable because of that material. When it comes to length, you want around 15 feet. Remember, you're throwing these over something and they're coming back down. So you're not really getting all of that length. Um, you also need space so you can be above them and below them, depending what you're doing. Remember, you want that versatility. And if they're too long, they all have a Velcro strap. You put the excess in there. If you enjoy watching me fumble my way through innuendos while I try to give my perspective on workouts and gym equipment, then please press the subscribe button because if for no other reason, every subscriber makes me a little more powerful and I can say crazier things online, then maybe my friends will finally accept me. And also I bought a lot of rings and my subscriber count doesn't really justify it. So when Winnie finds out, uh, she's not gonna be happy. So uh, subscribe please. Now let's take a moment to talk about buckles. You essentially have two options. You have this cam style system right here, but I gotta say, gentlemen, make sure you put it in the right way or it's coming right back out. And it's uh, a little bit slower to set up, but if you have an uneven system like a tree branch, it's pretty much your only option. They work perfectly fine. They can just be a little sluggish at times. And typically based on your strap width, if you have a wider strap, you'll normally get a better made buckle. That's not always true, but in general, that's in my experience. From there, you have this carabiner type system. They are much quicker. You just pick the hole. Uh, this is going the wrong way. You pick the hole, you put it right in there and, and you lock it and it's super quick. Though if you're on an uneven surface, I can only move this every four inches or so, which some people would say is a good, good amount of distance. Um, it, like on a tree limb, it's just not gonna work out. The next thing you wanna look at is the quality of the wood used. Now, most companies in this budget range aren't gonna tell you what type of wood they use, but if you do a little research and read some reviews, you can figure it out. Or just click on my links and trust me, I'm not some guy on the internet. I swear, I swear, you can trust me. Now, you also wanna look at the smoothness or roughness of the ring. Now. It's kind of up to you whether you like it nice and smooth or you like it a little rough, right? And that can be a grip thing or however you want to take this kind of not subtle innuendo I'm making here. And you can roughen up the ring a little bit, you know, just get your hand right in there and roughen it up a little bit with some sandpaper or vice versa. Some people actually get some sandpaper and really work it and smooth it out. Now, it's personal preference for me, but it's up to you. Saving the best part for last, at least I think it's last, I'm filming out of order, so however it works out when I get to editing, and that is the unboxing of all four types of rings. These are my top four choices. Obviously, I now own them all, and they're gonna cover all of your basic options, or pretty much all your options, really. You have 1.1 inch versus 1.25 inches. You have different styles of straps, uh, with numbers, without numbers. You have both buckle styles, carabiner, uh, versus cam and obviously different companies takes at it. So based on this, you should make a pretty good educated choice. I have Titan Fitness, Garage Fit, Rep Fitness, and Double Circle, some quality companies who all make really good rings. So let's get right into it and go right into the Titan Fitness. Just so you know, I have not opened any of these up, so you are getting the authentic experience, though I've used these all before. So let's get right into it. Titan's got a very minimal boxing. There are rings though, and I'm gonna make this sound bad, but honestly, all but one company here is, is saying the same exact thing, and that is they have solid wood rings. Literally, they say solid wood rings, and these are actually pretty nice. These are pretty smooth, very good quality. No real need to sand these. I would leave these as is. They have a 15 foot strap that's one and a half inches and it's got a cam buckle system. These are not numbered, but at $35, they are your cheapest option that shipped. The rings and straps have a 600 pound capacity and they have a very thin Velcro strap to help you retain the extra strap. I do wish it was a little bit thicker, but it's really not gonna be much of a big deal. These are my garage fit wooden rings. These are my 1.1 inch rings in case somebody comes in and wants to use a little bit smaller of a ring. Let's open it up. Again, like Titan, you're gonna get minimum packaging. Like I said, these are gonna be a little thinner. The straps are in a bag this time. 
We'll just fast forward that chunk. And it's again, 1.5 inches with a cam buckle and a very similar thin strap. I don't know where they got that from, but you can see a comparison here. The nice thing about Garage Fit is you can order all the parts individually. So I can buy just the straps or just the rings for a little bit less money. And you can get these numbered as well for a tiny bit more. The rings are fairly smooth. They have a logo embedded in there. Not quite as smooth as the Titans. And again, they're not making any claims as to what the wood is, just that it's a solid wood ring. The trade-off with these is that the weight capacity is a little lower at 550 pounds for 1.25 inch rings and 440 pounds for 1.1 inch rings. You can also get the straps in different colors, which is a nice touch. But overall, a solid value and a nice alternative to the Titans, though they are gonna be pretty similar and they're both pretty well rated. Now on to Rep Fitness. Now these are about $50 depending on the options you choose and the options being you can have a seven and a half foot strap or a 14 foot strap. They used to have an 18 foot option. I don't see it currently, so I don't know if they're gonna continue that in the future. They are $50 putting us at the top of our range, but you should get a pretty good ring. If I could open the bag. We'll just do a little bit of fast forwarding there. So, uh, the Titans actually came with a tiny bit of an instruction and this is gonna come with a tiny bit of an instruction as well if you wanna give credit to that. You're gonna get, again, a pretty solid ring. Now, in my opinion, these are all very similar in quality, though I like the rep rings a little bit more, but I'm not sure I'd put an edge on any of these. But very well sanded, very similar to the Titan rings. Now the strap difference here is your piece of Velcro is a little bit more substantial. They do come numbered, which is a nice touch for adjusting speed. If that's worth $15, I don't know. It might be in the long run. That's not a ton of money. Though again, another very solid option. It's the only company on the list that tells you the type of wood. It's a Baltic birch wood. The straps and rings have a 600 pound capacity and they come with a one year warranty. Now on to Double Circle, our last one. They're about $55 on Amazon, but they often run a 10% off coupon. So basically $50, they're in line with the reps. They have the best packaging and they actually have some instructions on the back. And I believe there's a code or something inside where you can get some exercises and stuff like that. So the fact that they went a little above and beyond is a really nice touch and something I often look for. So, well, there you go. There's the QR code, talks about the exercises. They come in a bag, which is a really nice touch because one of the benefits of rings is you can bring them somewhere. They only weigh a few pounds, so you can bring them to your gym or throw them on a tree outside and you're not lugging around whatever the heck. So, pulling them out, these are the carabiner locking style system. It does come with four carabiners. These look pretty solid. And I should say these have the highest capacity at 800 pounds. So another 200 pounds is quite the difference, making them pretty solid. These rings feel really good. I would not bother sanding any of these. I'm not seeing any real defects in them. And even from Rogue, I've seen ones come where they putty it and they fill it in. So uh, pretty good, no complaints there. Honestly, I don't think I could pick any of these and feel too bad about them. They have a numbered system. So based on how you flick that carabiner in there, you can move it about every four inches. The nice thing about this system is it's, it's a lot easier to just flip it to where I want it. I can see the number, I can see the spot. It takes me no time instead of fiddling. There's options for 1.1 or 1.25 inch premium wood rings. The straps are one and a half inches wide. The same price as rep and they're all pretty in line with each other. You just make your choice. Some really good popular options from $35 to $50. Let me know in the comment if I missed any really good companies or if I missed something in this video. I hopefully was pretty thorough here. In the coming weeks, I'm going to do some videos on basic strength training stuff, maybe some calisthenic stuff, stuff to build you up. I'm a little rusty myself. I haven't done this in probably two or three years. So I'm gonna use this as a good chance for me to get back up to speed and hopefully help you out as well. I think personally, a great budget item to add a lot of versatility to your gym. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>